Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I thought I would come back and do another quick video for you guys. This one is if you have children who are interested again in robotics and programming and that sort of stuff, there's a really, really great system that we've been using for a few years. These are bee bots. Okay, little bee bots. And these are pro bots. Okay. Um, and bee bots are for younger children, pro bots for a little bit older children. Um, with bee bots, all the programming is done right here. So you have forward, reverse, and then right and left turn. And then there's, you know, clear where you clear out what you put in and pause so that as you're programming, you can have the bee bot pause what it's doing. And another thing that I have to go with, and we have two of the bee bots. And my kids like to race them and, and, and program them. And I also have cards that we use with them. And these cards, this is an additional purchase that you can make that we, we made. Um, they have go and pause and right turn and backwards and forwards. And there's just a lot of cards um, that have the basic commands that the Bebot can do. And what I do is I use these cards in a couple of different ways. One way is that I will set out the cards and the, in a particular order and the kids have to do the programming and then we check to see if they programmed it right by did the Bebot do what we told it to do. And um, that's one way we do with it. Another way is that one child will program the Bebot to do something and then the other kids have to sit back and mark what they think the Bebot has done. So when it goes backwards, they'll put down a backward card, when it take, makes a left turn, when it makes a right turn, and then we will replay that to see if they were right, if they were able to really understand exactly what actions the Bebot did. The reason why this is really, really good for younger kids is because they really get that one-to-one uh, -one correlation and understand that my robot, my Bebot, is only going to do what I tell it to do. So I cannot expect output if the input is not there. I am in control of my bot. That is an integral, integral level of understanding kids need before they can get into higher level programming. So when a child understands that, they're good to go. And there's tons of things you can do with these. They're really fun if you have kids that really like um, programming or are interested in programming. Probots, again, we have two of these. Okay. And this is a little bit higher level programming. You can program right on the bot itself. And you have this screen that lets you know what you're doing. Because these are um, a little bit higher level programming, you can see the screen. Whereas with the B-Bots, you just have to remember what you put in. But this, um, you have the forward, backwards, and then right or left turn. But then you also have degrees and paces and stuff that you put in. And then you have a menu because you can do different choices um, with the software as well. I mean, with when you're programming on the bot. And this little hole here, it's to use for pins because one of the things that you can try to do is you can try to program the ProBot to write. So you put the pin through on a piece of paper and you see what your uh, ProBot drew or did, you know, were you trying to get it to draw a picture or write a letter or um, a word. And then if you did the, all the programming right, it'll do that for you. Another thing is that on the back here, you see it has the court, so you can actually do progr programming on your computer and program the bot that way. And so there is a quick reference guide that you get that shows you, you know, quickly how to do some programming. And then there is also a tutorial booklet that walks you step by step through the programming um, and then a reference menu that walks you through the different programming that you have to do and um, basically um, 
that's you know the next step up to higher level programming so I showed you guys I did a video on we do that shows you really entry-level um, programming for robotics this is another area for entry-level programming and robotics and this one is nice because you know, if, if a child doesn't have a lot of fine motor skills or if they don't have the patience to create um, their robots first using Legos and then do the programming, these are good because they don't have to build anything. All they have to do is program and play. So that's really good. And then it's a nice step program because you can get into this and they're ready to go right out of the box. So you really don't have to do anything. You can pull out the box and, and your kid is ready to start um, doing it. With most STEM based activities, those science, technology, engineering, math sort of things, you know, they're not cheap, but they've been really, really hardy for us. We have gotten a lot of use out of them. We've had them for three years now, a little bit over three years. My twins started using the Bebots when they were, you know, two years old and having fun with them. And they have grown in how they use them along with, you know, and, and the Bebots have grown with them and the Probots have grown with them. So they've been hardy. They, you know, had them bumping the walls. They've dropped them. They've done all that and they're still going strong. They are designed for use in classroom settings. So they were built for kids to use. So they're not fragile in any particular way. So if you're looking for a way for your child to get into some programming and using technology and bringing technology into your homeschool, these are really good. We like them, we've gotten a lot of use out of them. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure to post it in the description box. I will put a link to um, the company Terrapin Logo where you can get these. Um, like I said, we, we purchased ours about three years ago, so I don't even remember what we paid. So I don't know if the prices stayed steady or if it's gone up or gone down. I can't really comment on that, but um, they've been good for us. And if you're interested in doing any um, programming with your kids, this might be something that you want to look into. Thanks a lot. Dr. J, I'm out. Bye-bye.